Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kane County, Illinois, with the frauditor known as Tyrant Terminator Audits, as he attempts to audit the local health department, only to be kicked out by a bunch of police officers. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Man, today we at the Kane County Health Department, out in Aurora, Illinois. A little longer than a few minutes later. Can I help you with something? <laughs> You're like the third person that asked me. <laughs> this is a locked building, so we don't generally, unless someone's here for something. They they locked? Out a locked building? Really? Why is the public health department a locked building? For security reasons. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, like I just told her, I was coming in to um, document you guys' public health facility and then before I head out, I'll grab a couple of FOIA request forms and file some FOIAs. What's your name? Teresa. Teresa. Are you like the supervisor or manager? Okay. Yeah. And your name again, ma'am? My name's Katie. Katie. I'm also okay. supervisor. Okay. Yeah, I'll see your FOIA requests and raise you a uh, HIPAA violation if you continue to record in there, dude. And that's all that is, is about HIPAA. And don't give me that BS about the onus being on them to uh, protect the information. Well, at this point, they're going to protect the information by kicking your sorry ass out the damn door. I'm not. Honey, yeah. oh, What's your name? Um, Nora. Nora. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You're one of the. Yeah, I know you. Huh? I don't want to. I can't hear you. You're with Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. Oh, Can I help you? I'm not sure who Kyle is. Does he work here? I don't know. Does he? I don't know. I'm not sure who Kyle is. You're like the fourth person. You work here, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, you're like the fourth person to ask me. I, do I need any help? So. Spoiler alert, this jackass managed to make it past security checkpoints by following the UPS driver in. Oh boy, and here they are saying that they're not going to go to uh, any place that's restricted. So what you're going to say now that you do go into restricted areas? Oh, because it's your right or something like that? Oh, come on now, let's carry on and see what this Nimrod does. I don't need any help to, uh, right at this moment. Probably okay. before I get out of here, I probably will need All some um, FOIA request slips, like I said, downstairs. Okay. All right, yeah, you go, yeah, you have to go downstairs. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. I'm okay. just documenting up here right now. Sounds good. All right. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh wow, you're like the fifth person to ask me, do I need help? <laughs> yeah. You work here, right? I do indeed. Yeah, no, I don't need any help right now. Like I just told those young ladies, I probably get uh, need you guys' assistance maybe right before I book out. Okay, what what's this for what? Uh, and a couple of FOIA request slips, and I file a FOIA with you guys. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. But right before I leave, I'll probably grab them. So. Okay, so this is unfortunately not a public building. Can I get you back downstairs? It's not a public building. It is for, unfortunately not a public building. Really? It's appointment only. Unfortunately. Pardon me, good sir, but this man is just a uh, no good, lazy, dim-witted frauditor who probably doesn't know the meaning of the word appointment. Hell, he probably thought it was his First Amendment right as a journalist to walk into a restricted area to begin with. But you know what? He's about to be escorted out, pretty much. Really? Because I didn't see any signs that said anything like that, or... I know, I know on you guys' website it does say um, if anyone needs to, uh, COVID vax. What's your name, sir? My name's Kyle Griffin. Kyle Griffin, okay. Yeah, yeah so um, like on you guys' website, uh, yeah. it says if anybody needs the COVID vaccine, yes. then that's for appointments only. But to come in and, um, you know, do any other public business, you, it, it wasn't on there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, so, that's I, so, I, so I can understand if you need a... Uh, you know, an appointment uh, for vac vaccination, of course. Absolutely. But just to come in and file a FOIA, 
I don't think you need an appointment for that. Well, no, actually, so our FOIA administration is actually through reception. So yeah, no, she told me. Yeah, yeah so she told me. We can go back downstairs. It would be great. Yeah, I'll be down. I'll go down as soon as no, I document the rest. We can, of the, we can go down now. Well, I'm going to document the rest of the building, Kyle, and then I'll go down, get the foyer, and leave. Okay, absolutely. What are we, for what reason are we documenting the entire building? Well, I'm an investigative journalist, and I'm uh, working on the story. Investigative journalist. Uh, what are you investigating, dude? Because I've seen a lot of your videos, and, well, you don't report anything too much. You just go around antagonizing people. So I don't see the investigative side of it. I don't get informed about anything. All I see is you being a jackass. On this public health department. Oh, okay. yeah. And who are you, what media outlet are you with? I'm with myself. With <laughs> yeah, I'm with myself. Okay, and like like YouTube or? Well, just, just myself. I really don't really, I'm not at liberty to answer those questions right now. But like I said, I just want to be able to document the building unmolested yeah. and then go down and get the foyer and book on out. Gotcha, okay. And do, did you inform our reception desk? That I, I mean, I informed them all. This young lady here knows about it. Uh, a yeah. couple of other young ladies on the first floor. The young lady right here in this um, door right there. Everybody knows about it. Now you do, too. <laughs> so, well, yeah, now I do. Yeah. They're usually the one that they'll call for that. So. Of course. Yeah, so... Oh, someone do called you? you? Need, uh, do you need a FOIA form or something like that? Can I get that for you? It's I mean, you can online. if you want to. I know it's online. Yeah, I don't access online. I just like to do it in person. Keep it the old school. Gosh, it's just odd to have somebody around in our actual, like, public area. Not in public areas for... Well, it's definitely public, though. That's definitely a public well, it's building. it's appointment only, unfortunately. But, but it's a public building, so it's, <laughs> it's not restricted. Not, actually, you're not totally correct. Um, right. Like, you can't restrict right. access. Well, of course they can uh, restrict access to buildings, dude. I mean, if they have sensitive information stored in there, yeah, they're going to restrict access. It's not open to the public, dumbass. So, 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 so it's not the camera then, because I know she just mentioned, which one is it? You, is it is it because I don't have an appointment or is it camera or is it both? So it's, it's probably a combination, a little bit of a combination of both here. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of a How you doing, officer? How are you? Pretty good. What's your name, badge number, ma'am? Deputy Quab, and the badge number is 184. 184. Uh, what I'm trying to convey to these folks here in the building that um, I'm an investigative journalist. Okay. I'm coming here to um, gather content for a story, working on the story on this public health department. Okay. Um, what I have conveyed to him, her, and several other people downstairs that I'm going to document the building. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a couple of FOIA request forms and book on out. Okay. So I'm, obviously they called you here for me, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, so, which is a waste of resources. Sorry yeah, about that. That's okay. I mean, the issue is that it's like a secure building. And so I think you probably have to make an appointment with them if you wanted to come in and do something like that. I do apologize, but they're just talking way over his head right now. I mean, he wouldn't understand a word you're saying, which is why you're going to have to call more police and then he'll be able to understand everything you're trying to tell him. So let's go ahead and skip to that part because, well, it gets a bit crazier from that point. Many, many minutes later. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven officers, eight officers, nine officers. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm counting. The officers that so was uh. You've already reported this part, so then you. Well, this part. Well, right, this so part. You want to go to the stairs this way and we'll walk out. Walk out where? Ladies. Walk out where? Exactly. Which part? What are you trying to record? This part. This hallway. Okay, so you've done that. You've got it all. Well, I haven't done that. <laughs> officer, with all due respect, I have. I just done okay, this. Let me let me check in with these guys. Okay. Hey, dude, you might want to think about exiting the building uh, while you still can because, well, it's about to get very interesting for you from this point on. We'll walk out this way. We'll go down the stairs and we'll do your FOIA. How's that sound? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to do that, but I don't want to. I don't want you guys to um, force me to do it now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but the the staff on site is asking for that right now. So does, well, well, the staff have, has, hasn't told me anything in terms of right now. I just what they just the told staff? me before you showed up yeah. is that they wanted to accompany me throughout the building. So what they were saying was they would allow me to do it if they can walk with me. Okay. Did they tell that to you? No, she's saying. Okay. She, go ahead. I, you didn't have an appointment. That's I'm correct. facility coordinator. That's correct. And with an appointment, I would be happy to walk you with. But without an appointment, yeah, sure and you just, right. you know, I would you just show like, up unannounced. Yeah, unannounced. I, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Is that? Let me. Let, it's it's so, very uncomfortable for an employee. So, so right now you're talking about a policy that you guys have, right? Yeah. Obviously, right? Okay. So there's three things with a policy. Policy is not law. 
Policy doesn't have the force of law, and if I ignore the policy, that's not breaking the law. But you can be trespassed and arrested, you numbskull, so why don't you make like a tree and leave? There is. Hey, yeah, I, yeah well, I'm admitting to it. Yeah, it is one. How did I get in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, a UPS lady, I guess she was delivering mail or something, she came out, so she had to open the door from the inside, and I came in when, when she opened the door. Oh, so she opened the door from the inside and you walked on in. Does that make it any less, say, a restricted area because of that? I mean, you are essentially trespassing at this point, dude. So, yeah, enjoy that. So you didn't make yourself announced when you came in. Absolutely, I did. I talked to the receptionist at the gate. You didn't make yourself announced yes, when you did. came in. Yes, I did. I talked to the receptionist lady at you, the front the glass. The door was open and you took advantage of an open door. The young lady at the glass. The, you, the door I was talked open. to her. She seen the me in the door cubicle. Was open. The door was the door, open. She opened the door. The door was open. You took advantage of an open door. In the public, in the public building. That's correct. And then you came in. That's correct. Okay. Is your house a public building? Uh, uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Is this their house? I'm just saying, you're asking that like you're trying to compare a house to oh, public property. I'm just asking a question. I'm just saying. Did you get your video? Are we good to go? I'm not done. You will be. You will be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine officers, man. That's, man, Aurora, Aurora must be a great city. Like, no crime or anything, huh? Nope. No, you guys got a lack of sense of humor. Y'all ready to go hands on? You said you wanted to be unmolested and do what you got to do. I'm, I'm still have a right to ask the officers so a question, just, right? We're trying to give you your space to do what you have to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is their training room. Um, wonder what kind of training goes on here. If they, they need to train them on the First Amendment. Officer, did I get your name? Uh, I got your name. What about you, officer, going down the stairs? Got to get your name and badge number, sir. Appreciate you guys, man. Promote, protect, and advocate for health and wellness in the community. This is Kane County Health Department. Huh? So we go down here and get these pamphlets, see what pamphlets they have available on their wall. File our FOIA. And well, there you have it, folks. Tyrant Terminator audits just booted out of another building because, well, you know, he just can't mind his own damn business. If a building is restricted, then there's a good reason for it. But you know what? You're not going to be able to convince this moron of anything. He probably doesn't even know what HIPAA stands for. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.